Thank you so much for watching Tomohiji the Music. Today, I'm gonna play a little bit and then maybe you can ask me some question or what you think about my playing, my teaching. But I think generally my all my videos are teaching. So this is a little bit more like a little bit performance and a little bit idea so we can talk about. Especially a lot of people always ask me about picking versus you know finger picking and sometimes I use you know pick the finger and two notes and something like that. And this morning actually I just taught one new student from Japan, this tape lesson, audio tape. Remember that? <laughs> this one? All right. Right. Audio cassette tape, you know. So I still use that. And uh, cassette recorder is right there. But um, so anyway, let's do this one. Use metronome. How about this? It's about 66, okay? I'm using this one. Oops. Can you hear? Okay. So let's play something. And um, so you know, this student, really good. Uh, he can play jazz, but um, first one, he played jazz blues and quite, quite a fast tempo and so many, like, you know, uh, Patterns, you know, patterns that not really naturally uh, grow, you know, so also overthinking. So I suggested like this. So tempo down a little bit and then volume our A. Something like that. So, so I set the metronome setting about 66, so that way, a um, little bit more room. So, what do you think about that? Do you like that? So, this, so the beginning, I did what I did like it, uh, um, a lot of finger picking, you know. So I use pick. Uh, I use this pick today. Okay. Okay. Oops, I dropped the pick. I have another pick. 
So, yeah. So, like, I use a you know, walking bass line. So, in the beginning, I did two. Two means like this. Instead of a... So, you know, what happened was, if you do like this, a one, two, three, four... That's okay, but you can do... You see this way you have one two three four a one two a three four a one two a three four one two three four one two three four one two three four a one two three four you see a little bit more space then maybe second time you go whoa Then sometimes like Joe Pascal kind of thing. Solo after that. Here I go. It's good. More space is good. So like in two, two beat each. Then you walk, and then you can make a um, solo. And then when you play solo, like that you have to have, have some funny ending you know okay so question I have a question for you what do you think about this F jazz blues playing with the metronome any any suggestion oh, I'm sorry not, not suggestion any comment what do you think about that also do you have any request from me to do any um, fun playing or talking and um, I think more talking is maybe fun to do it too because I realize sometimes I give a uh, Skype lesson today actually I did one in the morning uh, 8.30 a.m. and then now I have a 3.15 so right now it's like maybe close to 3 I have to watch out the time okay so yeah 
And I teach all, you know, people from all over the world, which is really nice. It's really fun to do it. And, and sometimes question is very nice question. But then I told you this story. Question is usually a little bit wrong because already too much own um, idea, too much own idea so that the question is really actually wrong question to get to the right place, you know? So you can go right place because the question is wrong. So we figure it out. So sometimes I talk half an hour just talking, just keep talking about music, how to learn, how to, everything, you know, uh, a lot of things. Um, sometimes, actually, I have w one student from um, China and uh, he's a really great student and uh, we do every other week. And he, he, he bought this book from Japan, Mimi to Kansei de Guitar Gaker Home. It's just like, you know, direct translation is played by ear and feeling. So in other words, this book, not so much notation. It's all about, you know, my uh, philosophy. And then a little bit about, you know, triads or uh, beginning. Um, yeah, it's almost like how to, how to set your, like, a situation. To, to make a better performance, you know. So, um, a lot of ideas. And the interesting, he asked me to try, even like in how to do, tune, you know, uh, intonation. And this has nothing to do with this video. Again, I, I, I love to do that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. so, so, for example, uh, from, the, from here, so see, every page is words. You know, or as we'll see, no music. Right? Okay, so this because important, like this one. When you practice, you know, cross out these things away from it. You know what I mean? All right, and um, so yeah, so like so basically, the students I'm talking about from China, he asked me to explain this one. So we, we took probably two lessons halfway I explained about, you know, details. And we will do again, but um, something like that. You know, I have a book that's really actually, this book sold so much in Japan, still selling really great because this is a 15th edition still Rito Music's uh, selling this one, which is really nice, you know, for me, you know, yeah, something like that. Okay, so that's already nothing to do with this lesson or uh, this talk. And so basically, you see, I hold a pick like this. Sorry, not, not really showing this today well. Yeah, but then I'm holding, see, really light, really light. Yeah. So the string really going like this, you know, and then pick is really moving between the finger. That's my playing. That's why I use one millimeter pick, pick boy, and then everything else my touch. And so now music master bass sample right here is always set volume two and tr uh, tone is seven just because tone is broken. So that's like a last 20 years I just play like that and then just in case I have the heel um, splitter then that's usually go to the pro reverb already plugged in but I'm not using this one today just plug in tuner and loop station just in case for the teaching and then then yeah and then this um, yeah kanji guitar and one tone, one. yeah, so the tone's all the way up right now, and then I was playing just around eight. Yeah, so that's really important too. Okay, I think that's enough, right? Okay, thank you so much for your support, and please subscribe my channel. That'd be great, and uh, see you soon. Thank you.